Lights out for a minute, all right? Well, that was pretty uncomfortable. If you're interested in how technologies could make us feel uncomfortable or perhaps cre creep us out, then maybe you'd be interested to listen to this talk where I, to where I talk about our paper on creepy technology. In this work, we looked into how we can measure how creepy technologies are and we, in we investigated how we can understand creepiness in technologies. This work is motivated by our previous works where we work with body-worn sensors and other body-oriented technologies and they made some users pretty uncomfortable and we wanted to understand more about that. So, as tradition indicates, we first looked uh, into literature and we looked into notions of creepiness in past papers. Based on that, we uh, created three factors that contribute to creepiness, undesirability, implied malice and unpredictability. Based on these factors, we generated more than 100 items that formed the base of a questionnaire which would enable us to measure creepiness in technologies and specifically prototypes of new technologies. We then exposed the users uh, to a number of technologies that were potentially creepy and asked them to fill in a questionnaire with initial items. These included a finger that you attach to your mobile phone and a mouse operated bottom wiper. So a device that uses, used server motors to uh, wipe one's bottom in the desired way. And these examples, they were sourced from past papers from the HCI community. These uh, systems enabled us to refine our questionnaire into eight items that we le could later use to, to check their validity and propose them as a way to measure creepiness in technologies. We then uh, established the validity of those items by doing what's called a comparison between known groups, where we compared two methods of logging into a computer using EG or using a keyboard. And as we expected, the EEG method turned out to be more creepy. Next, we also wanted to check if our questionnaire worked over time. So we, ex we exposed participants to this particular walking robot toy spider. And we did this at a two week interval. We asked them to rate the, how creepy the spider was uh, at a given time. And then we asked them about the same thing two weeks later. Based on an analysis, we were able to conclude that the scale was indeed stable in time and enabled us to measure creepiness in a reliable way. So how can you use our scale and how can you hopefully use it in your research? Well, these are eight items that you can uh, use to uh, estimate how creepy a given prototype is. And of course, those of you who are familiar with scales and statistics will ask how come you have three dimensions but two, but eight items? Well, as you can see in the paper, the maths tell us that indeed uh, for one of the dimensions we had two items. How do you use it? Well, it's pretty simple. It's a seven item Likert scale. So you show your users those items, you ask them uh, to rank them on a seven, uh, seven item Likert scale and this enables you uh, to get a quick and uh, effective and validated uh, assessment of how creepy a given prototype is. And hopefully you can uh, use this later in your design process. I've conducted this work together with Jakob, Florian, Caroline, Johannes, Yvonne and Yasmin. Uh, and we are from Utrecht, Munich, Bremen and, and London. And we do hope that you not only enjoy the stock, but also uh, our scale will enable you to study more creepy technologies.